George, you've just completed the first wave of what you've indicated you hope to be an annual and extensive national survey to estimate and measure how many Americans possess a biblical worldview. You talk about biblical worldview, we do as well. And it goes right to the root, I believe and you believe, I know, of addressing our problems in offering the solutions to our needs. So before we get into the specifics in the next segment, you are now there as the Director of Research at the Cultural Research Center, Arizona Christian University. For you, George, what are your short-term and long-term goals for this powerful first wave, frankly, and this research and what you intend to bring on later? Well, we're, we're really excited about this, Sam. I mean, in terms of short-term goals, what we want to do is to be able to paint the picture of what's actually going on at any given point in time. That's what a survey does. It gives you a portrait of where things stand at a moment in time. And so we hope to be able to annually uh, update that portrait, eventually have enough of those portraits that when you fan them together, it's kind of like a movie and you can see what's happening in the culture. And, and by painting that picture, secondly, we want to create a consciousness in the general public about this idea of their worldview. Because one of the things that we find is that people still don't think about this. They have a worldview by default. And so consequently, thirdly, what we want to do short term is to begin to raise concern about the nature of the worldview that most people in America have. And then fourthly, through that, be able to motivate leaders and teachers to do something about it. Our long-term goals are things like changing the trajectory of what's going on with worldview in America. When we look at the pattern of how many people have a worldview, what types of people, what's impacting the worldview, we need to change what's happening with all that. And secondly, in order to change it, we want to be able to use the research to stimulate the development of resources that will help people to begin not only to focus on the idea of worldview and the reality of their own worldview, but to be able to have resources that will help them to shape that worldview in a way ultimately that honors God and in a way that is best for them. When a person has a biblical worldview, it's one of God's gifts to us because what we've done is we've taken his principles and figured out how to apply them to our life, and it's for our benefit and to his glory. And then thirdly, we want to hopefully get people thinking about this enough that they'll be regularly measuring where do they stand in terms of their worldview, and maybe churches and schools and families as entities can begin to develop ways of measuring that. And finally, our, our longest term, our biggest goal of all, is that we want to be significant in helping to reestablish America as a nation of people where a majority, most people, if not everyone, has a biblical worldview. When we hear this expression, make America great again, to me, having people in America living in accordance with a biblical worldview is really the only thing. It's the bottom line hmm. of making America great again. 